stop you here? Go ask my wife. G'day guys and welcome to Ryan Stella Fishing and on today's show we're down here at the Kurong National Parks up at Tewitri Barrage and we're fishing for mulloway, uh, garfish, mullet, you name it, we're fishing for it and uh, yeah so we're going to show you some fishing action, probably more garfish action than mulloway action at the moment um, due to a few things but uh, I've got the new rod here as well, it's got a Siena Sh Shimano reel on it, 1000 and uh, we got the old Shakespeare slingshot rod. Oh, I'm getting a nibble. And uh, but yeah, and a really nice rod I got for Chrissy. So thanks to my parents. And uh, yeah, also quick shout out. I just want to thank my 200 subscribers that I hit the other day. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll keep the videos going and keep the support going. It was it's all going to keep happening. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Woo, let's get into it. Just took a to a nice fish. And he just ran. He was just... He's a bit bigger than the other ones, I reckon. He's alright, he's a, probably a keeper. Yuppie! Uh, we've both hooked up here. Dad's on, I'm on. Everything's happening. You're beauty. Hi. Nice mull away. Dad's hooked up as well, so we get, get the camera onto him. Oh, that's two. Nice fish, Dad. Alrighty, guys. So today we're doing a bit of garfish fishing while we're waiting for the mull away to bite. And, uh, Simply what we have is a couple hooks right there and there, just two hooks and then we've got about half a metre and a sinker and uh, because it's windy we're not using floats so uh, you can just get a bit more control and a bit more feel on your rod and uh, let's see if we can get a fish. And bam we're on. And that that's a garfish guys and they, they normally bite once or twice but then if you don't hook them you'll hook them the third fourth time so oh geez they're a bit uh, a bit happy but yeah beautiful fish guys Let's see if we can get some more And we're on. Yeah. Nice mull at that time. And uh, every time you drop the line and you don't know what you're going to get, you could get a mullet, you could get a mullet, you could get a garfish. And that is a nice Kurong mullet. And these guys are famous for the, in the Kurong just because they taste delicious. And uh, yeah, they're probably the most common catch along with the mullet. And uh, beauty of a fish there and he's going to go well in the old deep fryer or the air fryer whatever you want to call it he's got to go well he's going to go really well he's getting so many bites down here and it's really funny because uh we haven't even burlied at all we've just 
fish for mullet away and little bits of pilchards have gone over the side and the garfish and the mullet, you name it, have come in, so. Yeah, lost a little bites. Jumpers come off, time to get serious. Oh, another bite. Just wait, in a minute. Lots of fish down there. Just waiting for that one to take the bait. Old garfish trick. The old garfish trick. And uh, tell us about that one, Dad. One in the line and they come for it. I like a bit of movement, I reckon. That's exactly right. And uh, that's when the garfish are finicky, you just Reel in the line a bit and get the bait moving and they'll smash it. And he's a nice fish. Beauty. Alrighty guys, so we're back here at home, we've just arrived and uh, we're putting out our catch, beautiful catch here, we've got about 30 garfish, 20 garfish and uh, about 10 mullet and 4 nice mullet away. They, they were legal inside the Kurong, but outside they probably wouldn't have been legal, so uh, really nice day. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe and also one more thing. I've got a Facebook page up and going, Ryan Stella Fishing, that's all it is, just like the YouTube name, just type it in, give us a like on Facebook, you know, ask some questions if you need to, and yeah, please get around it and get that up and going. Thanks guys, you'll be okay.